Hey everyone, my name is Leila and today we are going to continue talking about Amage brand and the fragrances that I have today are the new ones and they were released after 2019 uh, after Christopher Chong, the former creative of um, the former um, art director and creative director of Amage left and uh, after he left the whole brand I think changed the direction uh, they they've changed the politics of the brand they've changed um, the whole um, orientation of the brand um, the brand became to my taste it became more, more commercial the fragrances um, became more um, easy to like uh, they are easy to become more uh, understandable um, less controversial less challenging um, less artistic as a result uh, and nowadays I think the brand follows the, the fashionable trends and um, it doesn't nowadays I think stand alone how it was before because uh, Christopher Chong never used to um, follow the trends he uh, I think was a trendsetter or he was always following his artistic and creative inspiration most of the time and I think that was mainly uh, that what was what made this brand so uh, popular and so famous um, and so recognized internationally. So um, I'll try not to sound like an old grandma and telling that before it was better, but now it's not anymore. I'll try to be more um, uh, objective. However, I think. Uh, fragrances are very and very subjective and very depends on the individuals um, so let's talk about the fragrances themselves uh, I want to start with the first one uh, and this is meander um, it's the fragrances in a very beautiful bottle which is mint color and I will show the bottle somewhere here the picture of the bottle somewhere here and um, this fragrance was inspired by the desert. Um, um, the place is called Salala, and the frankincense uh, trees that are called um, Boswellia. So the perfumer uh, he was inspired by this place, and um, I would say this fragrance is um, all about as uh, it's mentioned here. Uh, the, the perfumer tried to um, combine together the desert, the notes of the dust and desert and uh, uh, hot um, sand with uh, the vegetal um, uh, fragrance of this greenness. And it definitely is. He definitely um, uh, got it, I think, because this fragrance starts very green dark dark green because it has a lot of vetiver and this vetiver is quite dark uh, at the start because this fragrance has um, incense and uh, then it becomes more and more light it becomes lighter much lighter because it has the iris root notes uh, which make this fragrance more powdery um, I, i'm talking about the uh, your own intense type of powderness and uh, it becomes more light because it has also the carrot seed notes very prominent by the way in the in the middle it's the, these notes are very prominent so for me this is this fragrance is something in between um and cri noir by Lalique, which is all about the dark vetiver and um uh, your own uh, intense um and I think it's something in between. Yes, it's very likable, easy to like. By the way, um, I remember that um, before many people, and including me, by the way, uh, told that Amoj is quite a complex, challenging brand, and you cannot just come and to the to the boutique, uh, try some fragrance, and uh, just come back and buy the whole bottle straight away the same day. No, you had to grow. This fragrance had to grow in you. And um, it took time for me. It took two years to understand this brand. However, I ended up with uh, 10 full bottles of this um, um, fragrances uh, from this brand. So I don't regret it. I, I think this is not the end. I'm going to, I, I want to buy the whole um, uh, collection of uh, 
old fragrances before 2019 because I just love them. Uh, however, nowadays the fragrances became, as I said, um, very likable and when you come to the store, you try them and you are ready to buy uh, without any problems. It doesn't, it, they are not that complicated and complex anymore, so they are not challenging. Uh, and when I read the comments in Fragrantica, Fragrantica about this fragrance, one of the uh, uh, guys uh, who wrote about this fragrance, he said, you know, I bought some fragrance, I think he was talking about the Oroms, uh, the Orom Intense. Uh, he said he came and bought that fragrance and then he decided to try something new from Amamash. He tried this fragrance and um, he said, I, I, I wanted to try but I knew that I am not going to buy it because for me Amouage was always too much. However, when I tried, it, tried this one, I ended up with buying the full bottle straight away without even asking a price. So this is what Amouage is trying to do. It becomes, it tries to be likable, understandable, easy to like and easy to buy as a result which means more commercial. So uh, for me, this is nice. This is a very good everyday scent. However, this is not unique. Uh, this is something that I already heard, as I said. Um, this is a very European uh, type of fragrance in terms of um, loudness because it's very subtle. Um, you can easily wear it to the office. It's easy to uh, wear. Mm, and again, this, uh, you know, the desire to make the fragrances uh, subtle, not that loud and not too much, as the man mentioned, is another way of, uh, you know, expanding the audience and making uh, this fragrances more commercial. By the way, this fragrance, um, when it comes in the men's bottle, it's marketed as a unisex. However, it comes in the men's bottle, and I would say this is more masculine fragrance because this vetiver incense, you know, it's uh, there is nothing feminine about this fragrance. Definitely, but however, if you like um, this type of fragrances, of course, you can buy it easily. Uh, and the next fragrance is also coming in a men's a bottle of a very beautiful color, by the way. Uh, this is called Enclave, and this is a fragrance that. Um, caught me because you know um, I liked it from the first sniff and this is something that I would like to have in a full bottle, bottle because um, I like this type of fragrances. It's very obviously oriental type of fragrance. Um, it doesn't try to uh, mask itself uh, as a European type of fragrance. It's definitely a Middle Eastern fragrance because it has the, by the way, the nose behind it, uh, Juliette Rascunet, he is a big fan of uh, Middle East. He fell in love with Dubai when he came here and um, he started producing Middle Eastern fragrances for uh, European brands like he did uh, Fidelis for Histoires de Parfums, he did uh, uh, Roses Berberanza for uh, Maison Lancome and both of these uh, fragrances are very oriental. And this one is not an exception. It's also very oriental. And this is the mixture of mint and um, oud. But oud is not mentioned here. It's not um, among the notes. Uh, however, it, the amber extreme, labdanum resinoid, and cinnamon oil is mentioned um, here. However, the presence of oud is very obvious for me personally. And I think not only for me, I also read in the comments uh, in Programmatica people mention it. Uh, I think this mixture probably creates the, you know, the imagination of um, uh, presence of oud here. So uh, for me, again, this is, uh, this is a fragrance that probably reminds me of the old fragrances um, of Amouage because again, this combination of mint and uh, spearmint and oud is not typical, it's something for me, it's very contrasting, but it's very well done here, very well blended. They married them together happily, you know. Uh, and this is what is in within the concept of uh, the Amouage brand when uh, Christopher Jong was there. So uh, I think he would approve this fragrance. Uh, that's my um, uh, opinion, probably I'm wrong, but again, I like this one. Uh, I like this fragrance a lot. It's uh, again, 
very obviously uh, Oriental and Middle Eastern type of fragrance. It's very close to my heart again because I live in the uh, Middle East and um, it's beautiful. It's not again loud, however, it's very long lasting. I um, sprayed it when um, it was very hot outside, about 38 to 40 degrees. Uh, I did about four to five sprays on my dress. I could smell it from myself uh, when I was outside, um, probably not too much, just a little bit. And I realized, I thought uh, that this fragrance is not long lasting at all. However, uh, after I came back to the same dress after probably two to three days um, and I was so surprised because it was, the fragrance was there, still there, very prominent uh, scent. It, it felt like I sprayed it just yesterday. So the fragrance is last, long lasting. It does last. However, it's not loud and the projection is not, um, you know, long. It's not big. It's like probably uh, an arm length. However, very beautiful fragrance and one, it goes to my wish list for sure. The next fragrance is, um, it was created by the same perfumer, by the way, uh, um, as this one. Uh, and you can definitely feel the European um, style in this fragrance as well. Uh, it's called Ashore. Uh, this fragrance was inspired by um, eastern um, shores, um, seashore, the um, coast uh, of Oman, which is called uh, Ras Al Jeans, uh, with lots of uh, jasmine sandbag trees there. And uh, this fragrance is all uh, about jasmine sandbag. It's also um, it also has the sunlight, sun notes. Um, it also has um, some ambergris, uh, which shows the um, presence of sea somewhere nearby. And it is a bit indolic, it is creamy. Uh, and what I straight away smelled when I um, sprayed this fragrance was uh, cardamom and pink pepper on the top notes. Um, I could feel it and then when I opened the Fragrantica, of course, I was so happy that I was right. It's nice, but again, it's nothing to write home about. It's not groundbreaking. It's not unique. It does, uh, for sure, um, follows the new politics. Yes, it's very easy to understand and easy to like. It doesn't have an, in any controversial notes, nothing, um, you know, to uh, call it complex and complicated. Yes, it's quite easy to like and understand. However, it didn't touch my heart, like uh, I had uh, with, with the other fragrances. But uh, nice, uh, it reminiscent to um, um, Portrayal, uh, again by Amouage, because the jasmine, uh, I think, are quite similar, but their jasmine is more indolic in um, Portrayal, it's louder, it's it screams, it shouts, and I like it. I like um, Portrayal. Uh, another fragrance that I liked, uh, and I think, again, this is very amouage style type of fragrance. This is Material, and this is a new uh, release. It's, um, it was created in, uh, released in um, April 2021, so just maybe one month ago. And this fragrance is all about vanilla, and this is like a duality uh, of vanilla, the two sides of vanilla. One is light and bright, uh, and another side is dark and animalic. And I think this is really very nicely done, and it's definitely there. You know, uh, it has lots of um, um, raisinoids. It has lots of. It's a very. Uh, it has lots of raisins. It uh, has a lot of incense, of course, incense is there because it's a dark side of vanilla, another side of vanilla. And um, it has lots of woody notes, uh, benzoin. So it's very balsamic at the same time. Beautiful fragrance. I can't say that this is something new again and very unique. However, again, this is very within the brand, I think. Um, you can see this is a moash style for me personally. I can easily imagine this um, fragrance was created uh, before 2019, let's say. Um, it's long lasting and it's loud. Uh, not too loud, however, when I tried other fragrances I was testing on my hands, 
this one was the loudest i could smell this one and not the other ones so i can tell you and this is very concentrated uh, because when i sprayed it on my manicure it dissolved my uh, coating it dissolved my uh, nail polish so um, it's quite concentrated i would say uh, and the last fragrance that I adore because I fell in love uh, from the first sniff and I think this is what uh, the goal of uh, Amouage was and it was achieved. I became the victim of that new politics and this is Crimson Rocks. It's a beautiful, beautiful rose fragrance um, and here is what left in my um, tester bottle, like decant. Uh, this fragrance is about, as I said, rose, a very beautiful um, cinnamon, lots of cinnamon. And this is cinnamon that uh, is on the borderline with a sour cherry. Uh, it smells like cinnamon dash sour cherry. The cherry like in, um, in a, um, Tom Ford's cherry, I would say. It has honey and it's beautiful. It's adorable, it's love from the first sniff, it's very easy to like and very easy to understand. However, it still has depth. It has depth and again, it is within the style of um, Amouage brand. It is quite loud, it is quite potent. And I love the, um, by the way, the, the nose behind this fragrance, uh, Domitil Bertier. She also created the fragrance from Yves Rocher that I also like the um, love notes, I think. Um, beautiful one. And after I smelled this again, uh, so first I tested it in the, in the mall, then I think four to six months passed and I ordered this um, bottle, the small uh, tester bottle, I realized that I need this. I need this like air, uh, but the price is um, too high and I'm not ready to pay that much. So I ordered eight uh, small bottles like this and online they are very, very affordable. Uh, and I ended up with um, 18, no, 16 uh, ml. Uh, I also ordered this um, atomizer. Uh, this decant bottle and now I have 10 um, ml here and plus 6 ml um, um, which is more than enough because this fragrance is very potent it's quite loud it's long lasting it's uh, again the same like all other amouages the old ones so I'm very happy that I have it now and as you see uh, I became a victim of the new politics of amouage um, I don't know if it's good or bad. For me, it's like always the question of um, fathers and, you know, uh, kids, older generation will say that there is something wrong with the new one. Um, this question is always, it's eternal. Um, so, um, I don't know. But anyway, uh, I think that the, the proportion probably of complicated fragrances in Amouage will be less than easy uh, to understand once whether before um, it was vice versa like uh, christopher chong uh, was a big fan of complicated complex and challenging fragrances very creative and artistic and um, frankly speaking for me this is what uh, perfumery is first of all it's art and i think he managed to balance the art and commerce and commercial um, uh, interests uh, he was always balancing and very successfully again from my point of view so um, that's it like I mean let's see what will be uh, what will be happening in future um, that's it for today uh, I hope you liked my review uh, and if you did as always I will be very very appreciated if you could um, support me with your likes. Uh, if you have any of today's fragrances, please let me know in the comments section below. What do you think about them? Do you agree with me? Um, maybe you like uh, the fragrances that I disliked and maybe you dislike the fragrances that I liked. So I appreciate all your comments and even if you have, uh, if you have any other 
uh, more fragrances please let me know which ones you have and which ones are your favorites if you haven't subscribed yet please uh, do so and don't forget to press that notification bell if you like the content of this channel and also i invite you to visit my instagram page and if you like it also please consider a subscription um, I wish you a great, great weekend and a great week ahead. And as always, I hope to see you in my next videos. So see you. Bye.